Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a quick look at the history of Hitman, with the character Agent 47, who has spanned several games since 2000 up to present day with the most recent release this year entitled Hitman. There's been a few blockbuster movies as well, which we'll speak no more about here, and six main games alongside a number of spin-offs on multiple systems. Danish developers IO Interactive has been busy under the watchful gaze of Eidos Interactive and now their games are published by Square Enix. So let's take a look from the very beginning. Rewind to the turn of the millennium and we see the first arrival of Agent 47 in Hitman, Codename 47, which released exclusively on the PC. It's here where our masterful assassin escapes his captors as we discover he is part of a secret cloning program. The game also introduces us to the Diana Burnwood character and the covert international contract agency, the ICA. It's time to get Agent 47's gloves on as he kills five targets across the globe. Cue Hitman 2 Silent Assassin some two years later in 2002 and we see Agent 47 living a secluded life in a Sicilian monastery, seemingly turning his back on his murderous past. However, events bring him back into the fold as his mentor and friend is kidnapped, which turns out to be one big ruse to get 47 back into the assassination game. Hmm. 
2004 sees a return to the codename 47 Roots, with a revised version of events in Hitman contracts. Four years is a long time in game development, and therefore a more polished offering is presented for PC gamers, making the reverse play a more enjoyable experience the second time round. Hitman Blood Money makes itself known in 2006 and up until this point is arguably IO Interactive's finest work in the series, introducing new gameplay elements such as accidents and picture-in-picture -picture views. Blood Money represents an in-demand and well-known Agent 47 character, except a rival organisation called The Franchise sets 47 up and takes out key members of the ICA, but only Diana and 47 remain. IO Interactive seemingly take a break or put their all into the next Hitman game with the 2012 release of Hitman Absolution, which released simultaneously on consoles and PC. It's a massive undertaking which sees Agent 47 tasked with killing his former handler Diana, who apparently betrays the ICA. It's a fantastic looking game with neat features such as the introduction of freeform player created contracts, but sadly a revised gameplay system removes the essence of the subterfuge soul the series has built up, leading to complaints from fans. Twenty sixteen sees IO Interactive redress the balance with their Hitman the release, sir. which Enjoy undoubtedly is their biggest game to date. It's a prequel to the original game, which sees the introduction of Agent forty seven being taken under the wing of Diana and the ICA. This time the presentation takes an episodic turn, raising concerns from some camps. However, the game's content proves to be well polished and offering far more scope than any of the previous games. Aside from presenting masses of NPCs for the returning contracts mode, the game looks like the pinnacle of 16 years of hard work, moving forwards with more to come from the charismatic Agent 47 character. Okay, I'm Rob Cram, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos. Closing in on target. Well done, 47. Now remember, Diana brought this on herself.